Welcome to Adapting Class. Are you tired of memorizing handless psychiatric medication with zero retention? In this video, we will break down high yield mental health pharmacology that you need to know in a very friendly buzzword way using riddle on forgettable ideas, how to remember them so that you will never have to memorize them but to help you answer the question. You want to stick around. These are medication, 20 of them that you need to know to pass the endless in terms of mental health pharmacology in the simple, straightforward way. The first one is this. I give you the riddle, the buzzword, I call it, and then you look at the answer choice and see if you compare them. One information can be applied to multiple medication. The first medication we're going to talk about is what you need to avoid Stevie Jones, what? What do you think? You should at least know one thing about Stevie Jones, what? It contains serotonin. Therefore, I should not contain any other serotonin. Think about it. Now look at the answer choice. Tell me which one contains serotonin and which one the patient should avoid. Two seconds. Look at it. At least your eyes should tell you a couple of them that's no need to be taken together with Stephen John's what? Or St. John's what? What do you think? Is it trazodone? Is it sertraline? Is it dilucidine? Is it flufenazole, aloperidol, or lamitrigine, or citalopram? What do you think? At least you've seen it before. What do you think? Select your answer choice, stop the video, and then select your answer choice and play it again. I can tell you that SSRI should not be taken together with this. This is an SSRI. SNRI should never be taken with St. John's Wort. This is SNRI. Trazodone contains serotonin. It should never be taken together with this. Fufenazole does not contain serotonin or it does not increase serotonin level. So is aropyridol, lamitrogen. But citalopram, they are the prams, increase serotonin. Therefore, trazodone, citrulline, dilucidine, citalopram should be avoided. And so you should avoid St. John's Wort. Second question, giving for sleep but may cause painful erection. Painful erection is what? Prophecy. Giving for sleep, that means it can be used to treat what? Insomnia. Citrulline causes insomnia. Delucidine causes insomnia. Cetalopram causes insomnia. The only one that is responsible for painful erection, prophecy, is trazodone. Don't forget your ankles. Love it. Trazodone. Stiff neck, eye fever, or tight mental status. Three combination, I call it buzzword. What medication will give you stiff neck, high fever, or tight mental status? Stop the video. Think about it. I can tell you it's neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Neuroleptic malignant syndrome. What medication should do that? It's an antipsychotic. It does not matter whether it's a primary and first generation or second generation. Can you recognize antipsychotic in these choices I've given you? Fofenazine is an antipsychotic first generation. Aloperidol. This is antipsychotic first generation. Those two shoe will cause stiff neck, eye fever, altered mental status. Sunburn, scary rash warning. What do you think? This is Stephen Johnson syndrome. Which of these medication would do that? The most common ones are antiepileptics because they are sulfur drug. Can you recognize an antiepileptic? In the choices I've given you, once again, stop the video. But you can see lamitrogen, major side effect is rash. That is the one you should worry about. Photosensitivity and Stevie Johnson syndrome. And you can see this is the content I want you to use to answer every question, every pharmacology. Create these videos yourself. Create these choices yourself. Create these password and you can use it to answer any question. Next one, which of this medication 
has no withdrawal symptoms. It does not cause dependence and you can drive with it. Which of this will cause skin rash, dry mouth, confusion, and cardiac arrhythmia? Which of these you have to give it at bedtime because it causes sleepwalking and driving, sleep driving, right? Which of these will lead to weight loss, insomnia, increased seizure, avoiding anorexic patients? Think about it. You have imitriptyline, not triptyline. You can see that imitriptyline or triptyline may be the same medication. Imapramine, I see busperon, opropion, bupropion, and zopidine. Think about it. No withdrawal, no dependence, and can drive with it. This is what the board will give you in your test. If you go and look at a Q-Bank, this is what they test you on, about no dependence, no withdrawal, and then you can drive with it. Risk reduction question, intervention question, they are coming. Prepare for them. This one is a bus. If you take it, you can drive. You can drive. Who has a bus in it? Busperon. No withdrawal, no dependence, and you can drive with it. It's anxiolytic. It's atypical anxiolytic. You can drive with it. You can. Um, there's no withdrawal, no dependence. Rash. Look at what I'm going to do. Rash. Dermatitis. Dry mouth. It look like anticholinergic. Confusion. Look like neurological problem. Cardiac. C and E. Evaluate. What does it mean? Dance. TCA. Dance. If you take TCA, you should watch for skin rash, dry mouth, confusion, cardiac arrhythmia, and then reevaluate. Which of these is TCA? You see the triptyline over there? They are TCA. I'm a triptyline, not triptyline. There's another group of TCA you have to know. They have last name, last name as what? Imipramine. So the first three are the one that can cause rash, dry mouth, confusion, cardiac arrhythmia. Third one, which one is given at birth because it causes sleepwalking or sleep driving, right? Sopidine is used. If you go to the nursing home, it's used for people who cannot sleep, insomnia. Number four, weight loss, insomnia, increased seizure, avoiding anorexia. That means that thing should will decrease your appetite. SSRI will increase your appetite. TCA will also increase your appetite. Which one increases seizure um, uh, episode and then will cause insomnia and weight loss? Propium. I put it together to close to busperon because they look the same, the words sound the same, but bupropion is what? Antidepressant. It's atypical antidepressant. It gives you too much energy. It decreases your appetite. And so you cannot take it if you have anorexia. We don't want to give it to you. It can increase seizures and it causes insomnia and lead to weight loss. You see it? Nine. Avoid it in a what? In patient who is taking what? Smoked meat, aged cheese, and red wine. Something that is smoked, you should avoid it. Something that is aged, you should avoid it. Something that is red wine, you should avoid it. I'll give you a clue. This is what we call what? Speed. That's the medication. Watch for tremor, confusion, and GI side effect. Which one will do that? Sweating, fever, confusion, focus on illness. Which one will give you that? And if you have sore throat and fever, you should call your doctor. What is this talking about? Let's go to the number one. You should avoid smoked meat. Warning. You should avoid cheese. Warning. You should avoid red wine. What do you think? MOIs. MOIs. And the key ways to remember them is spit. Which one? Selegenin. See, it's here. No, selegenin is that one. P, fufenizin. Right? And then the I and the T, we will see them later. I'm not going to give them away. But these are second um, MOI, monoamine uh, mono oxidase inhibitors that you should avoid or you shouldn't take it together with what? Smoked meat, aged cheese, and red wine. If you're taking them, 
you develop hypertensive agency. If you have tremor and confusion and number one side effect is GI, look at it. That is all lithium is screaming at you. Don't forget, GI symptoms, confusion, tremor, uh, lithium is screaming at you. But if you have clunus, confusion, fever, and sweating, you can see all the symptoms are going what, up and then you are getting sick. But clunus is the key factor of what? Serotonin syndrome. Which of these will give you serotonin syndrome? SSRI. Which of these are SSRI? Citrulline and flaxitin. So throat and fever. What does this sound? Calling your doctor, you have infection. So throat and fever. Calling your doctor, you have infection. Which one is this? Infection, bad. A granulocytosis. Therefore, which of these causes a granulocytosis? Carbamazepine and clozapine. They are different medication, but they all start with the C. This is antipsychotic. This is anti-epileptic. Know them, they causes a granulocytosis. I know you're enjoying it. I know, I know you're getting what I'm trying to uh, portray. Use this strategy to master all pharmacology. I can't sit still. I feel like jumping out of my skin. What do you think? What medication will you take if you can't sit still and pacing const uh, constantly and your leg won't stop moving? What medication would I give you to treat it? My thought feels stuck. I can keep on repeating myself repeatedly, washing my hands or saying the same word multiple times. It causes neurotube defect. What causes neurotube defect? Something that decreases folate. What decreases folate mostly? Antiepileptic. Do you see antiepileptic there? Well, break acid. My thought feels stuck. I keep repeating myself. That is OCD. What medication is good for OCD? Or what do you do with OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder? What do you think? Cognitive behavior therapy. But we're talking about medication. Give them SSRI. You see SSRI here? You see the citalopram? Acetalopram is your answer. If I can't stay still, I feel like jumping out of my skin. What medication causes it? This is what we call akitesia. Which medication is good? That will cause akitesia. It can be first generation antipsychotic, second generation antipsychotic. And that is teotizine and quetiapine. Both of them are antipsychotic and it causes akitesia. Once again, stop the video and suddenly they listen to me and see what I'm going to say. What medication would you use to treat akitesia? Everything is going up. You can't sit still. You're jumping around. You can't do anything. You're pacing back and forth. I'm going to slow you down. I'm going to slow you down. What medication is used to slow you down? Beta blocker and benzodiazepine, lorazepam. Don't forget, akitesia is treated with benzos and lorazepam before you give them what? Anticholinergic. And the last group, I gain weight. I'm sedated. I'm drooling. And my, I have low, what, A and C. What does that mean? This is the absolute nutrifor count. It's the same as low, low white cells. Combination of this, if it doesn't give you away, I told you psychosis is used to treat psychosis. Therefore, what? Treatment of psychosis, it has to be antipsychotic. With antipsychotics, it is very good in causing what? A granulocytosis and drilling is what? Plazepin. You should avoid it in bipolar and seizure disorder patients. It does not cause any sexual side effects. So it's good if you are taking antidepressant and you have sexual side effect. I will give you this medication. And I'm giving you more information. It can be used to stop smoking, smoking cessation. Wabitrum. What is the board going to use? Give you propion. This medication is an antidepressant. If you go and take over-the-counter medication, you will find yourself in emergency room, hypertensive agency. That means I know there's one antidepressant that causes hypertensive agency. What is it? T uh, what is that? 
MOI. You see MOI there? Phenoxine and isocarboxide. These two are MOIs. Last one, you know. Patient now can focus. That means they have attention deficit and hyperactive disorder. But they cannot eat. They cannot sleep. And they have lost pound. So weight loss, growth retardation is you caused by what? Metaphenidate. A stimulant that causes growth retardation, low appetite, by what? Improve your function in terms of focusing. That is the function of metaphenidate. I will note it. These medications I've told you, you should know it. To recap, these are medications you should be familiar with. You should be constantly learning them. If they are affecting you, you should try to figure out how to master them. Once again, Stephen Johnson syndrome uh, or St. John's what? Avoid SSRI. Painful erection, trazodone. That is what? Rapizin. Stiff neck, high fever, autometostatus, NMS. That is antipsychotic. Allopurinol and frufanizin. Sunburn, photosensitivity, and Stevie Johnson is mostly sulfur drug, lamitrogen, anti-epileptic. Something that has no withdrawal, no dependence, and you can drive with it is the bus, busperone. Uh, if it causes rash and dry mouth, confusion, and neurological problem, and cardiac, TCA dance is amitriptyline, not triptyline, ipramine. We can use it to treat insomnia, but it causes sleep uh, sleepwalking, isopidin. And if you should avoid it, anorexia, because it makes you decrease your appetite and increase your seizure uh, uh, episodes, then that's a bupropion. Of course, anything that is fermented, aged, and cheesed, and smoked, avoid it in MOI, which are the OMO, MOI, speed, phenoxine, selegilin. If it causes trauma, confusion, but number one side effect is GI, is what? What do you think? Lithium. Clonus, confusion, fever, sweating, serotonin syndrome. It's all from SSRI, citrulline. So throat and fever, a granulocytosis. So throat and fever, a granulocytosis. The C's, clozapine, carbamazepine, avoid them. Akitesia, what do you do? What causes it? First generation and second generation antipsychotic, teotizine and quetiapine. How do you treat it? Drop the patient down, drop them down, give them beta blocker and lorazepam. If they have OCD, give them SSRI. In the causes of neurotube defect, anything that is anti epileptic for precursor. Thank you for watching. Mental health pharmacology, buzzword, making it easy. If you like this video, subscribe. Join our Daphne class and get more content like that. Okay, take care of yourself. If you need something, if you have a question or the video, put it in the comments. I'll respond and take care of yourself. And bye.